What's happening everyone? Welcome back to Hulk's Point of View. Today's video, I'm going to be doing back and biceps in my home gym. So, as always, you want to start by warming up your biceps and your back rear delts just to get some blood in there to prevent injuries. So you want to do this warm up probably twice, once, twice, three times, depending on how how you're feeling. If you're feeling a bit tight-ish, just go for that third time. It doesn't take two seconds to just warm up. It's very important. So in the previous clips that was me warming up and now I'm going to start putting weight on the bar. So halfway through I did a super set and I switched to these. So I did a set and then I put these on and these are fat grips. Yeah. Which are designed to make the bar thicker, which means it gives you more activation on your forearms and it makes it harder to grip. I'll probably do a video on these at a later date, but they are well good. So I'm going to go one more set on that weight and then I'm going to put it up more, more weight. Don't try this at home. And that is how I use bumper plates with a, with a thinner bar. Put a small plate this side bumper plate in the middle and a smaller plate that side do that up and then it holds it there same on that side make sure that's nice and tight and then you can lift heavy
Right, so now I've got the bar loaded, I'm going to do some shrugs now, which will be traps, yeah, so the area I just worked is lats here and here, and bicep and forearm, doing the bent over rows, now I'm going to be doing traps, so here and here. You can also do these either holding the bar in front of you or behind your back. But I'd only recommend doing the behind your back if you're on a Smith machine or some kind of rack. Because picking it up from the floor is a bit awkward to do that. So I'm going to be going in front of me holding it like this. And then just bring my shoulders up. Like that, just like that. And when you're doing these, try and keep your arms straight. Don't when you come up, don't don't bend them. Try and keep your arms straight, and just raise your your shoulders. Some people like to work these on shoulder day, which is ideal because it, as you're working the shoulder area, it just works. It tends to warm up up here as you're doing like front raises and stuff like that. It will all do that area, but I'm doing it on a back day as I haven't done them in a while and I've mixed my training up a bit at the moment. so. I'm just doing some random things at the moment, waiting for some new equipment, gym equipment to arrive, but that'll be in a while because no one's delivering ASAP at the moment. Right, so I was just demonstrating there forwards, now I'm going to show you my back whilst I'm doing it to try and give you a view from the back so you can see it from the front and the back. I ain't saying I've got big traps or nothing, but I'm just just trying to help everybody out. Yeah, so tell me what you think.
So when I do train traps, I try to keep it a heavy weight. Um, a heavy weight. Try and keep it not. Try and keep it a bit strict. So like, don't let the don't let the form slip slip too much. But just try and get some good reps in. So you want to be aiming. I try to aim for like twenty to twenty five reps on a heavyish weight. If it's if you can't get if you can get to twenty and it's like the last sort of two one or two was hard for you, that's the right weight. If you can't get twenty comfortably and you're like on fifteen and you're like like flapping around like a fish, too heavy. Just drop it down. This is a slow process and you'll get there. You will get there, trust me. Trust me. Yeah, I'm trying to show you the best I can, but obviously the lighting in here is a bit dead because there's just this light in the middle of the room and it's it's a, quite a square room, so no matter where I move, I can't get the shadows to show you exactly what muscles, like how it's working. Obviously, I'm not in perfect condition, but I do know a lot of stuff like everybody I'm trying and we all got to get there so that's just the way it is anyway on to the next exercise rear delts rear flyers so I'll be getting two dumbbells I'll be getting two dumbbells holding them by my side leaning over and just raising them like this just raising them like this and that's going to target this here, the back of your shoulder. So I know I said I'll be using two dumbbells, but I only like to use one when I'm doing it so that I can focus on that muscle. When I'm using two, I can't, it's like I can't retract my shoulder blades enough to get that pump on that shoulder. So when I'm using one, lean over and feel and just do that until you can feel it. That's all you do. Try and get like 15 on my arm. That's it, that's all you do. Just nice, slow, controlled. That's gonna target your rear delt, yeah? Rear deltoid. Right, so I'm gonna be finishing off with an exercise for biceps called 21s or three part curls, which is you hold the bar and you do seven from the bottom to the top, from the bottom halfway, then you do seven from the halfway to the top, and then seven all the way. But I like to start with the top first, so I'll do halfway up first, so that I can, on the eighth one, when I'm coming down to the bottom, then I can just go to there, and then it's seven straight up. And this will work all, all your heads of your bicep. So I'll start from halfway, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, down, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, seven, twenty ones. Thanks for joining me for my back and bicep session. This is all I'm doing for during lockdown. I'm keeping it simple. Trying to keep the exercises to a minimum so that I can always keep my body growing. If I come in here and do loads of exercises on one part and really like keep doing that, 
then my body's going to get used to it and it's not going to grow anymore. So what I've done is, whilst the gyms are shut, I've kept it to basic training, just simple bicep curls and all this and that, no fancy stuff. And then like every sort of sort of two weeks, three weeks, I'll change it and then I'll hit. So like every three weeks, whatever, I won't do normal bicep curls. I might be do, doing hammer curls and just for instance that's for arms but other things like uh, back bent over rows I'll do overhand for a while then I'll do underhand for a while and then it just gives it that variation and it makes makes your body keep growing always surprise your body and it will just keep working for you I hope you enjoy this video I'm Hulk wannabe thanks for joining me